Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and welcome to our channel today. I appreciate y'all being here. And if you're new to the channel, if you're finding us for that very first time, you know, welcome as well. You know, it's good to have you. And our topic for you today is when is it time to fire an employee? When is it time to fire an employee? Now, before we get into our topic today, just a quick reminder, you know, my focus, you know, my mission here in the channel is I want to be able to provide as much information as I can to as many people as I can across the globe. And the best way I can do that is when you choose to subscribe to the channel. So if you've not yet done so, please take a moment, you know, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And then to learn more about me, learn more about my company and how we can help take your business that next level, you know, be sure to check out those links below. And then for you folks who are looking to open a new gym, you need funding, uh, you have an existing operation, you need some working capital, you need funding, you know, we can help provide funding for up to $400,000 in funding. It is unsecured. There's no restrictions on use. The basic qualification for that is a minimum credit score of 680 or better in all three credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Minimum income of 50000 per year, each of the two previous years. And check out the links below under financing and funding. We have several different options. You know, if that one doesn't fit for you, you might have some other ones that do. You know, something for your unique situation. But uh, generally speaking, I think we're probably going to have a financing option really for everybody. So be sure to check that out if you need funding for something new you're building or an existing operation. And so with that said, let's get into our topic. You know, when is it time to fire an employee? And so let me start off, okay? I've, I've got some bullet points here to kind of think about. But before I start off, here's how I like to look at this. When is it time to fire somebody? So here, here's the, the job description I kind of give all of us, all of us that are in management. What our job is, is to give 100% of our efforts to make somebody as good as they can be. Our job is to give 100% of our efforts to make someone as good as they can be. And the very second that we can no longer give 100% to somebody, that's when you should let them go. Do them a favor, do yourself a favor, let them go. If you can no longer give 100%. And I can give you examples over the years. I've had folks come to me and say, hey Jim, I think I wanna give my two week notice. I just don't think I can do this. And literally I've said, well, hey, I think you can do it. I still believe in you. I don't accept your two week notice. Okay. And they stayed and they've been, they stayed there for a long time. Okay. I've had other folks that had you know, a ton of talent. They just kept showing up late for meetings, showing up late for meetings. And I finally said, Hey, enough's enough. You know, we're going to have to move on because one of the things on, on folks that are, you know, they have some bad behaviors. If you allow it, you're kind of telling everybody else that they can do it too. So, but at the end of the day, you know, our jobs to give a hundred percent of ourselves to make someone as good as they can be. And as soon as we can't, that's when you want to recognize it might be time to let them go. So let's talk about when is it time? What are some of those things that can happen? It's when bad behavior is not corrected. It's when bad behavior is not corrected. The rules of how you run your business, of how you run your company, the rules are not a suggestion. Here's how it needs to be. And I tell you the biggest mistake, one of the biggest anyway, is we have this salesperson or manager that just knocks out the numbers. But man, bad behavior doesn't follow the rules and we keep them on. The best thing you can do, get them out of there, get somebody that's got the right attitude, it's gonna give the proper effort and train them how to do it. You don't wanna tolerate this. It really is a, a negative on your business. Okay, it'll have a, have a negative impact for sure. Uh, but when bad behavior is not corrected, when rules, rules aren't a suggestion, okay? But when bad behavior is not corrected. Now, if, if something's happening, you know, I'm not suggesting we go out there and just fire somebody, but if something's happening, or you know, it's bad behavior, let's sit down and talk to them. You know, if you have a policy of writing people up or documenting, okay, great. But sit down and talk to them, okay? Let them know, hey, I love the person. Hey, I think you're terrific. I'm the one that hired you. I think you can do great at this. However, the following I have a concern about. We need to get this corrected and be very clear, okay? Um, number two on when is it time to you know, fire an employee is when they affect morale. You know, when, when they walk in a room, is it a big downer? Do they just kind of suck the life out of the room? Or is it, oh man, so-and-so is here, let's go, this is great, okay? 
And I've seen this, you know, as someone maybe who's a director or an owner, and maybe my manager is doing that. Maybe an area director is doing that sometimes, okay? Let's just make sure it's not you, okay? And if you're in a position to influence it, you know, it does need to be addressed. But you have someone who's affecting morale, and you've tried to correct it, and it hasn't corrected, you know, if you feel like you can continue to give 100% to that person, you know, stay after it. But if it's kind of got you beaten down, you can no longer give that 100%, now it's time. Um, number three, when is it time to fire an employee? When they, when they damage productivity. You know, when they damage productivity, you know, as a result of their behavior, their actions, their attitudes, whatever it might be, we're not as productive because they're talking about all oh, this doesn't work and I don't know why they require this and why do we have to do all this. I mean, I've seen clubs literally, they get rid of this person we're talking about, the behavior, the morale, the productivity. We get rid of that person. You walk in the next day, there's no negativity. All it is is, hey, here's what we're going to focus on. We're going to have a great attitude and here's the process. Here's what we're going to do. And all of a sudden, seemingly for no reason, sales are up. I, again, I'll, I'll use myself as an example. I can think of going into clubs as, you know, Jim, we need this club to be turned around. Uh, you've got 90 days. Go in there and do it. And they'll call up, Jim, you did it in one day. How'd you do that? How'd we go from doing nothing to doing 10 in one day? Well, the difference was the person that I replaced was, you know, they were affecting morale. They were, you know, affecting productivity. They had bad behavior. I came in, good attitude. I'm upbeat. I'm looking for solutions. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying this. I'm following the process. And it works. You know, you're in the greatest industry in the world, as far as I'm concerned, because there's not a person on planet Earth that doesn't want to look better, doesn't want to feel better, and doesn't want to live longer. Let's choose to be accountable. Let's do the right thing. Follow the process. Have a great attitude. It's amazing how this can start to change for you. Okay. Um, number four, when is it time to fire an employee? When they thrive on the drama, you know, they're just not happy unless there's drama, okay? And again, it's not what you want. Because let's go back to a, a description I give for management. You know, what's your job? If you're a manager watching this, okay? Our job is to create an environment that allows a motivated person to act. We want to create an environment that allows a motivated person to act. You know, if we have people that thrive on drama, You've got motivated people there. That's not going to work. Okay, you're going to have to make a decision. And then, um, last but uh, not least, on when is it time to fire an employee? And they, they continually commit, you know, just major violations. They come in late to work. They always want to leave early. They call in sick. Uh, they don't turn in their numbers. They're not making their calls. Their KPIs aren't in order. I mean, all of those are violations of it, right? And because I know of a lot of clubs, uh, they'll have like a 90 day probationary period when they hire somebody. But, and so you have some you know, maneuverability in there, but almost like in your communication, if we're communicating on a regular basis, a lot of this can be avoided. Like, and I say avoided, I don't mean you eliminate some of this behavior, but you eliminate the longevity of it. It, it gets stopped a lot quicker. And so it's every morning. You know, I'm the manager. I'm going to meet with each person every day. I'm going to go over their productivity report. We're going to talk about leads being generated. We're going to talk about outbound calls being made. Uh, we're going to talk about how many people we're getting in touch with and what we're saying. We're going to talk about daily appointments. We're going to talk about how many are showing up. We're going to talk about how many are buying. We're going to talk about prospecting activities. We're going to talk about our numbers. We're going to talk about our goals and how we're projecting toward those goals every morning. And it's not, a, I know it sounds like a lot, but it's not really a long call. But if I'm doing that every morning, you're going to pick up on a lot of this and you'll be able to make decisions a lot quicker, okay? Because if you got a bad seat in your gym, you want to get them out, okay? Nothing worse than a bad attitude. And that's really what all this is. It's just bad attitude. And so when is it time to fire an employee, okay? Two things I want you to take from this. What our job as management is, we want to create an atmosphere that allows a motivated person to act. And then secondary to this with our staff, our job is to give 100% of our efforts to make somebody as good as they can be, okay? Keep those at the forefront. 
and you communicate daily with the things we've talked about, you'll start to see a change. And if you don't see a change, you know, make the decision and let's move forward. You owe it to you, you owe it to uh, the investors of the operation, and you owe it to the staff, you owe it to the members. So folks, again, my name is Jim Thomas. I appreciate you being here on the channel today. And if you've not yet done so, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. We appreciate it. Uh, again, to learn more about me, learn more about my company, and how we can help take your business to that next level, you know, be sure to check out those links below. And then for you folks that are looking to open a new gym, you need funding, you have an existing operation, you need funding, you know, we can help provide funding for up to $400,000 in funding. It's unsecured, no restrictions on use, minimum credit score of 680 or better in uh, all three credit bureaus, and uh, minimum income of 50000 per year each of the two previous years. Check out those links below under financing and funding. We have several different options for you depending on your unique situation. So folks, again, my name is Jim Thomas. I appreciate you being here on the channel today, and we'll look forward to seeing you all in that next video.